Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, Organized with Joy, and welcome if you are new here. Today in my video, I am going to be doing a power hour clean with me. I've actually never done one of these videos, so I thought it would be fun to give it a try, but before I get into that, right now it is almost 1.45 p.m. and I usually stop in midday to take a break to have a cup of coffee just to relax and to re-energize and if you've been following my channel for a while or follow me over on Instagram you know how much I love coffee I was very excited when this company Javi reached out to me to have me review their product and I actually have been drinking this coffee the last few afternoons I love it, you can make it hot, but in the summertime, I love drinking cold coffee in the afternoon, some iced coffee, so that is how I've been making this coffee, and I think it is fantastic. It is so easy and convenient because all you do is add, well, the directions say one to two teaspoons to um, your, whatever you wanna, if you wanna do uh, like kind of a frappuccino type thing, you just add milk, or if you wanna do an Americano, you can add water. But I have actually been adding three teaspoons. So I upped it. I love really strong coffee. So that's what I've been doing and it has been fantastic. I love how convenient it is that I don't have to wait for coffee to brew. I don't have to you know, do the 24 hour steeping on one of those cold brew machines. So I have been loving this, so a big thank you to Javi for sending me this product. But I am gonna go ahead and enjoy a cup of iced coffee before I get into my power hour so I have some energy. So all I do to make the iced coffee is I have a cup with some ice in the bottom and then you add the one to two teaspoons of the Javi concentrate. Like I mentioned, I add three teaspoons. And then I also add some creamer to mine and I use Nut Pods, which is a milk alternative creamer and it has no sugar in it. In the mornings, I like to drink my coffee without sugar since I do intermittent fasting. But in the afternoon, I like to add a little bit of sweetener. So I add this um, agave sweetener to the coffee and then I fill the rest of the cup up with water and there you have it. Okay, they also sent me a couple of straws, so I assume you can get those on their website, and this um, silicone like straw topper as well, so that's nice, but mm. that's really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and drink this. It'll feel so nice. Today in Austin, the high is 98, so definitely need iced coffee. But I'm gonna go ahead and drink this and then I will get started on my power hour. So I am going to be starting in the kitchen. I don't know about you, but if my kitchen is dirty, it is the first place that I want to go ahead and get clean before I clean anything else up. And it does seem to be the location that gets dirty the quickest, but I am just gonna go ahead and start in the kitchen. I actually need to wipe everything down and clean the stove top and the microwave and all of that. I do that once a week and I'm gonna go ahead and get that done on this day.
Like I mentioned, once a week I do like to clean off all the parts to my stovetop, and I have been using this Dawn dish soap, which I find works better because there's usually a lot of grease stains on this stovetop, so that's what I'm doing here. To clean off this part of the stove, I just use an all-purpose cleaner, and I know I've mentioned this in my last few videos, but I have to say I am loving the Mrs. Meyers Rosemary scent for an all-purpose cleaner. It just smells so fresh, but it's not like too overpowering, so I've really been enjoying it, and unfortunately I went back to Grove's website to order more, and they don't have any more on their website now, so I'm so bummed, but if you can find it somewhere, definitely pick it up.
So lastly, I'm just going to go ahead and clean the sink out. And as I showed you there, I'm using my favorite Mrs. Meyers baking soda scrub. I love this product so much. I know that I've shared it several times on my channel, but that is how I'm going to finish up cleaning the kitchen. And while I was in the kitchen, I decided to go ahead and head over to the kitchen nook to clean off the table as it definitely needed it. Next, I headed upstairs to clean the bathroom that my husband and I share. We have two and a half bathrooms in my home and this one I clean every week um, myself but the kids bathroom i share that responsibility with my two boys well at least when my college age son is here when he's not here it's just with my other son but we rotate weeks and then my half bath i rotate with my daughter so um, she'll clean it one week and i clean it the next week on this week this was one of those fun weeks where the stars aligned and i had to clean all three bathrooms um, I don't show you cleaning my kids' bathroom on film just because it ended up not being within the hour where I was cleaning. Also, in case you're interested, I use the Spray Away product to clean my mirrors. I know I say that in a lot of videos that I use that product to clean my mirrors and windows, but I thought I would mention it. I did get a question on my last video. I like to spray the tub with the tile and tub cleaner um, before I clean the toilet. That way the product can sit on the tub while I'm cleaning the toilet. It just gives it a little bit of time to work. But I do get this tub and tile cleaner from the Grove Collaborative website, which I can have linked in the description box below. I don't always film cleaning my toilets whenever I'm cleaning my bathrooms mostly because I think it might be a little bit gross, but I did decided to film this process today just because it was part of that power hour. Into the room, I couldn't 
On this day, I only cleaned out the tub. I did not actually clean the tile surrounding the tub. And I typically do that when I have to clean all three bathrooms on the same week, um, just because it is a lot of work. So on this day, I'm just cleaning the tub. And here I'm just showing you I had less than five minutes left to get this bathroom clean. And I did stop the timer as I was transitioning from room to room just to get time to set up in the next room. Um, but sometimes I will clean the shelves in this bathroom uh, behind the toilet, but obviously I didn't really have enough time to do that on this particular day so I am just going to clean the mirror the sink and the toilet So as you could see, I made it just in time to finish up that half bath with the power hour. So I was able to clean my kitchen and two bathrooms within that hour, which I thought wasn't bad at all. Well, thank you for watching my video today. I hope it motivated you or inspired you today to get spaces in your home clean. And thank you to Javi for sending me the coffee concentrate. If you are interested in trying their coffee, I will definitely link that in the description box below so that you can easily find where to purchase this item. But thank you so much for watching my video today, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.